Hey everybody, Mark Pearson here with Arc Law Group. It's Tip Tuesday, and today we're talking about performing rights organizations, or PROs. In the United States, we're talking about BMI, ASCAP, CSAC, and GMR. These are the organizations that are responsible for both licensing and collecting royalties on behalf of songwriters and their publishers for the public performance of the composition copyright. That's the copyright in the lyrics and melody that make up a song. Now, these organizations, they work with songwriters and their publishers to blanket license and then collect royalties. So you as a songwriter, you can sign up with a PRO, whether it be ASCAP or CSAC or PMI. CSAC, you gotta get invited. And then they are responsible for licensing and collecting royalties on your behalf from anywhere that the song might be publicly performed. And when we say publicly performed, we don't just mean on stage. We also mean any time a sound recording embodying that composition is played on the radio or on television, on a jukebox, or over a PA system in a bar or restaurant or at a sporting event, or any time that work is coupled in an audiovisual work and played on, say, YouTube. Anytime that happens, anytime the song is publicly performed, there's a right and a royalty that's attached. And so how it works is your PRO goes to all these different places that might publicly perform a song and issues a blanket license. That organization pays a flat fee to use all of the songs that belong to that particular PRO and publicly perform them over a certain amount of time. Might be a quarter, might be a year, depending upon the type of blanket license that's being issued. Then they report all the songs that they play. The PRO checks to see which ones were listed with them. And then they divide that blanket royalty out and pay the songwriters and their publishers. It's a pretty simple system. And one of the reasons why it's something that most songwriters know about, in fact, most musicians know about, is because that money gets paid directly to the writers of the song from the PRO. It doesn't go through a label. It doesn't go through anybody in the middle. It gets paid directly to the songwriters and their publishers. And so a lot of people are really interested in making sure that their PRO rights are correctly addressed in written agreements because they wanna make sure that they get that money because they know somebody's working to go get it for them and they're gonna pay them directly. So PROs are really important. A couple things PROs don't do. One is PROs have nothing to do with sound recording royalties or rights. So if all you did was play on a song and you didn't actually write lyrics and melody, you're not entitled to any PRO money, at least not on that song. Also, PROs only operate within the United States, at least the ones we're talking about here, ASCAP, CSAC, BMI, GMR. Other territories in the, around the world have their own collection organizations. In Canada, you have SOCAN. In Spain, you have ASAI. So, if you have a song that's being performed or used outside of the U.S., and you think it's making some money, at least on the performance royalty side, you might want to sign up with a publishing administrator that can go out and get those monies for you by working with other collection societies outside of the U.S. But for here in the United States, the PROs, ASCAP, CSAC, BMI, GMR, do a great service, and they're going to collect your money, and they're going to pay you a royalty directly if you're a songwriter or a music publisher. So that's been Tip Tuesday. I uh, hope you learned a little something, and I uh, hope that helped. If you have something that you want me to answer on Tip Tuesday, feel free to shoot us an email, info at arclg.com, or you can look us up on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Shoot us a DM, and I will try to address your question in a future Tip Tuesday. See you again soon.